Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates, where it's dessert day. Yay! <laughs> yeah, my husband can attest to that, because he's like, when was the last time you made a dessert? Well, we made a chocolate crack pie, and then we made a triple lemon poke cake. Oh, that was so delicious. Okay, today is all about a 7-Up Bundt Cake recipe. We're going to be using a boxed cake mix. going to make it really yummy with some pudding and a I'm going to show you what 7-Up is going to do for this cake. And then we are going to top it with a delicious icing. So stay tuned for that one, you guys. Mm, it's going to be really scrumptious. Let's go. So I've got a large bowl ready. And what we're going to do is put a yellow cake mix into it. Now, you don't want to use the cake mix with the pudding in it, okay? We're going to be putting our own pudding in. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add this to my large bowl, and then I'm going to add 3.1 ounces of vanilla pudding mix. Now, this is the instant. Okay, now this is a 15.25 ounce size box that I'm using. And then the 3.1 ounce size box of vanilla pudding, the instant. Now, it's really important that you whisk these two ingredients together before we do anything else. And this will help break up any lumps that you have in there also. And mixing it together will help really incorporate the rest of the ingredients. Okay, we got that all mixed. I have three quarters cup of butter melted. We're gonna go ahead and add that. Now I'm gonna be using my hand mixer to mix this all together. Okay, what we're gonna do now, see so I've got four eggs here and we're gonna add one at a time while we're beating. Okay, with the eggs, it's very important that your eggs are at room temperature and makes a very fluffy cake. And also, when you put them in one at a time and beat them in, it incorporates some air and it makes it really light and airy also. Now, I usually make a bakery style cake, which is three eggs, one cup of milk, and the three quarters cup of butter. But today we're adding the extra egg and then we're changing the milk, which is the liquid, to seven up. We're gonna be putting in one cup of this and it's gonna make it really fluffy, airy, and add a little crispness to the cake. Okay, let's go ahead and add this. You're still gonna use your hand mixer for that. Mm. Now, I wouldn't suggest using Mountain Dew or Sierra Mist or anything like that, because it's got like a um, fake taste to it. So make sure you're using the 7-Up or Sprite because it'll add a crispness to it. See all those bubbles in there? That's gonna cause a reaction when you put it into your batter and mix it up and it's gonna get really fluffy. So let's come over here and watch that happen. All right, look at how that batter is just stuck on there. That's how thick we want the batter, right there. Mmm, okay, let's go work on our bunt pan. I've got a 10 inch bunt pan here. Now, it's got a lot of crevices inside of here, so it makes the cake look really pretty at the end. But to get to that point, you want a good spray inside of your pan. Now I'm using a Baker's Joy, and this is just a cooking spray with flour in it. And it works really well for cakes. I've always used this. Or you can butter your pan, grease your pan, and then put flour in it and shake it all around until it's all covered, every crevice inside of here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now let's go ahead and add our cake batter into our pan. Now 
you see how thick that batter is? That's what we're looking for. I'm just gonna hit it on the counter just a few times. Make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Okay, we're ready to place this in our oven at 350 degrees. So we're gonna follow the time that's on the back of our cake mix box for a bundt cake pan. So anywhere between 33 to 36 minutes. Here you do the toothpick test. Take your toothpick at the end, put it into the center of the cake. If it comes out clean or maybe it has a little crumb on it, that's totally fine. That means it's done, it is, especially if the cake is pulled away from the sides of the pan. Okay, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna show you how we're going to put that icing on the cake. It's gonna be very scrumptious, so stay tuned. Okay, I have pulled this out of the oven and it's been sitting here for about 15 minutes because you want it to cool in the pan for that long. And then what I'm gonna do is take it out of the pan. So since this is the bottom of the cake, we're gonna take our cake dish or you can, a rack, whatever you want, a plate, and you're just going to place it upside down on your bunt pan and then put the whole thing over holding all of the edges there. Oh, I heard a thunk. Did you hear it thunk? I heard a thunk. All right. I'm going to center this. Oh, look how beautiful that looked. Clean. Okay. Look at that right there. Okay, what we're gonna do is cool this down completely, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the cream cheese scrumptious frosting that we're gonna use for this. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and make the cream cheese frosting. Now what I have in just a medium bowl is eight ounces of cream cheese, room temperature, you want it really soft, and then I have a quarter cup of butter that's been really softened. And so what we're going to do is blend these two together using a hand mixer. Okay, what we're going to do now is add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix that in. All right, I'm going to start incorporating two cups of some powdered sugar. I'm going to do it about half a cup at a time. I'm just gonna make sure it's all incorporated. And then what I'm gonna do is put this into a piping bag. Now, if you don't have a piping bag, you can even put it in a Ziploc bag. And what we're gonna do is pipe this really thick onto our bunt cake. Okay, so I have it all in my bag here and I've got the largest tip that I could find inside the bag here. And what I'm gonna do is you wanna start on the outside like I've done on these two right here. And start at the bottom, give it some pressure. There we go. Okay, look at this gorgeousness right here. Mmm, look at the crumb on that cake. Oh my gosh, the color of this cake, the crumb of this cake. Let's go. Mmm. It is very moist. It's very airy light, refreshing. Mm. That is so good. Who wants a bite?
Nobody wants a bite. Y'all want the whole piece, huh? <laughs> I want the whole cake. <laughs> Thomas is ready behind the camera. Okay, y'all know he had some. Okay. <laughs> I haven't had any. Oh, you're fibbing. <laughs> I'm being bad. Okay. All right, y'all. What do y'all think of my 7-Up Bundt Cake? It does, that 7-Up does add a refreshing flavor to the cake. It is so good. All right. Thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hey, I will see you on my next episode. <laughs>